Hello people, welcome back to follow that. Hope you're doing well. Now then, it's the final mission up for one million dollars. Now, on your way there, one thing to note is you can't pick up any wanted stars. So you can kind of go and roam around the map. There's no other players and you're good. Right. Another thing you can do is you can call the mechanic. So if you wanted to, you could pick up one of your cars, like Duke of Death here is super armoured car. You can jump in and you can actually get back into that car and then shoot some of the people who are attacking you when you get to this area. Now then, Johnny Guns, to find him he's always here so you just have to drive into this spot so I'll just turn around so I may decide to use that car later um, depending how it goes because it's so armoured you can just drive around and shoot them from the safety of your car and take a lot of damage. Anyway. Here we go, here we go. Great, Johnny Guns runs away, run away. We will deal with you later. Okay, so you always spawn here and there's lots of different ways to do it depending on your shooting skills. I'm not great at shooting, here I'm on PC. So I, I'm going rocket launcher, <laughs> which helps deal with most of them. So you have the guys on the ground, they move along. There's also these guys up on high and obviously you have the you have the red dots to give you an idea where they are but don't forget those guys up high oh and if you stay still they will they will come for you so you can't just stay there spamming snacks for minutes and minutes although you obviously can pause for a few seconds right so we've got that oh dear so what I mean about my shooting terrible they <laughs> have a rough an RPG right now then at some point about a minute in you get these cars and there'll be four or five of them come out there so get the cars early right so we've got these two guys there Did they both survive oh. they both survived oh, but not for long okay so what do we got still got a couple here right let's got him oh there's a guy up there right i'm gonna take out this other car because that was saving me oh no, no no look out <laughs> oh dear you know what car i'm ahead all right ah so we've got that I thought I'd taken that guy out, but I guess not. There we go, we have now. And one more guy who's up there. Oh, I'd like to take out that red, if that's a gas container, that would be a good way to do it, but anyway. Now then, so you get, once you've taken out the first wave, second wave spawns, what was that? Okay, here we go. Like I say, these guys move. To size, right, that's got that guy. This guy out. That's it. Just walk straight into my headshot. Good man. Okay, so we've got. Right, one, two, three, four. There's that guy hiding behind there. Couple. Where are they? Is he behind the car? Ah! <laughs> behind the car. Right, so we've got two left. Ah, there we are. Thank you. I'll try not to hit that car and explode myself, which is probably my most common way of losing lives is blowing myself up with the RPG, which is a slight flaw of that. If I was better at shooting, it wouldn't be an issue. Where is he? Ah! He was hiding behind there. Right. Okay, FYI, That's it. So, now calls. we are off to the airport. We've done phase one. I mean, we've got two lives with this one, so if you're getting in trouble, as usual, top up with your armour and snacks. Okay, so we head into here, and obviously you can't go in here with a vehicle. That you Maybe you could on a motorbike, but there's no real benefit to doing it. You've got to take out all those guards before you get to finally get Johnny Guns. Right, so we're through this door here, and the guards are pretty much always in the same place. There's a couple here. Use usual uh, sledgehammer to crack a nut. I'll go RPG. I think there's another guy just on the left there. Yep, got him. Right. And then there's a couple just to the right in this corridor, it's two or three. Okay, all right, I'm trying to set myself on fire. Okay, right, so there we go. I'll take that guy out. There's someone else by that one, one, two. Ah, I think that got both of them in that one shot with the blast. Okay, right, now we have to just work our way around. I think there's some guys over there, let's have a look. I do it or not? Okay. Now, as you get closer, yeah, the red dots will appear. So, ah, there's someone there. <laughs> Not 
not the best move to move that. There's a guy just around the corner. It's literally hiding around the corner. Um, if you are going my RPG method, you can't really get him from here. Okay. You have to go around and take a bit of fire. There we go. Okay. Now it's got a few good little areas for taking cover here. And nice thing RPGs, you can get people from distance where they can't actually shoot you. Okay. So few over the ah there he is. Yep, that's got him. There's a couple on that far side. Like I said, they're pretty much always in the same position. That should do it. There you go. Got him. Okay. And they kind of spawn in and out. Which is a bit a little bit weird. But anyway, we'll gloss over that. Okay. Thankfully, unlike the Los Santos Tuners missions, you can keep topping up your ammo, which is great. Really, really helpful. So that was quite annoying. We just get restricted set of weapons. It makes it harder, but okay. So we've got that guy there. Now then, once you've taken out enough of them, out the back of that airplane in the background there, a car comes out. So you just got to watch out for that and take that out quickly, because otherwise you'll get another four guys coming out. Okay. Now then. Got the, uh, so there's no one showing on the map. Okay, I think we're going to get this car quite soon. They'll kind of spawn towards the back once you get in. Ah, there we go, there's our car, so take that out quickly. There we go. And then I think we've got some other people spawning in. There we go, get rid of those. Ooh, not, oh dear, not doing a very good job of this. Am I blowing myself up? No. Oh dear. Right. Okay, we're back in the game. Topped up my health. We are good to go for this final set. Okay. Oh, do me. I was watching where I was going. Okay, now then. Where are they? The guy there. I think they just ran. There we go. They've given themselves away. Oh. Oh, nice. Blow up the car, that took out both of them. Right. There's a guy behind there, where is he? Where is he? Oh, just gently move the car out of the way. There we go. Did that get him? Ah, uh, no. There he is. No, I was missed my shot. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, find Johnny Guns in the hangar. Right. Now, I've done this a couple of times, so I know where he is. Um, but mainly it's just watch out for those final... There we go, someone else pops out again. Okay, right, now Johnny Guns is just up here on this platform and he can take all of these RPGs, which is bizarre. If we switch to Sniper, see, you just see him there, he's on fire. <laughs> me. Um, anyway, two good shots with the Sniper Rifle. Or you can go up the stairs and just take him on, but there we go. Once he stops being on fire, there he is, you just see that shadow. So, he and he can take any number of hits, but two good headshots, and there we go. Grab Gonny Guns. Okay. Here we go. So he's up here. Now, one little kind of glitchy thing with this is no matter what you do to Johnny Guns now, you cannot inflict any more damage on him. So watch this. So, maybe not stand there. Go over to the far side. Okay, leaks you a sticky bomb. On him. Bang! He survives. He stays in that state. Anyway, so then we go pick him up. And we're home free. Pretty much done. Okay, so I've had to swap out that music so I don't get copyrighted on this. So, okay. All you have to do is just drive Dre back and the fun of this really is messing about with his car you can't get any wanted stars you can shoot out from here you can do all kinds of stuff and you get abuse from Dre for damaging his car running people over doing all kinds of stuff now then um, <laughs> it's quite a good place to get stuck oh dear go back off there 
All right, now then. So you don't actually have complete unlimited time. First time I did this, I spent it trying to drive around the map, trying to think of things I could do to Dr. Dre, including, of course, driving him off the pier, which fails the missions. If you destroy his car, and it's a very robust car, then you'll fail. But aside from that, if you get beyond, it's like five or six minutes, so into the second song, then a cutscene triggers. And tempting as it is to blow up these vehicles, as long as you don't blow them up, kind of shoot around them, as long as you don't blow them up, you pass. So I did fail it by blowing up the helicopter first time around. And there we go. We are done. So we're on our way to a million. And of course, with this, you can do it by yourself, which is great, like Kayo. And well, indeed, like Kayo, you can also do it with other people, which is quite fun. So I've done that as well. And it changes the ending just slightly. So there we are. One cool million. Amazing. So let's just do a quick run just to show you with the two people how it worked. It was pretty good, it was pretty good fun. So the difference is when you get when you get to the end here, so you see that's the red car that we drive, but there's there's two of us. But to drive well, obviously it's a two-seater, that red car. But the difference is that more than one of you, you actually spawn in this um, Enus I think it's the Enus vehicle it's a fake Range Rover and look at this my friend look <laughs> that's the other way to finish <laughs> oh dear that's how to finish in style like I said to him good finish we're in business and I say as long as you don't blow up the vehicles and you can't shoot at those guys it won't let they're like friendly fire it won't target and then we are good we both, I, I've taken a bit more damage than him, haven't I? As usual, he was pretty slick. While well, I was RPGing, he was going through wiping everyone out. And there we go. And because we did it as a shared mission, so I was helping him. He hadn't done it before. So there I got 50,000 for helping. But it was great fun. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Take care.